<clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, guys. Doing? Hope you're having a great day today. We are back where we left off. Doge, thanks so much for being here from the beginning. If you haven't watched last stream, um, you might be a little bit behind though, because we did a lot last stream. Uh, what do you miss? I went to the Citadel. I talked to Anderson and Udina. Um, Commander, whoops. a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Thank you. No, no. Have a pleasant <clears throat> visit, Nos Astra, Commander. Uh, it was mostly dialogue, but you you did miss uh, a few things though. Um, let's go back to the Normandy real quick. I know it's a bit tedious, but um, I want to get that Castrol armor before I do anything else. Oh yeah, I bought the Kestrel armor uh, from the in-game shop. Well, I, I was uh, in, in, in Ilium. I mean, there was a shop there, sold it, so I bought it. I had enough credits anyway, so might as well. And uh, why is that a thing? <clears throat> why is that a big thing? Because the Kestrel armor is the best armor in the game. Also costs it a lot, but uh, hey, it's okay. So we got the Recon Hood, and then we got the Kestrel Helmet, and look at this. Headshot damage increase, 5%. Weapon damage increase, 3%. Increased shields. What? And then we got the Aegis, but that's not the one that we need. This, this just gives us 5% extra health. But then, boom, the Kestrel Torso. More shields, more weapon damage, more melee damage. Holy shit, bro. Shoulders, Castrol shoulders, 8% shields, 10% damage. That's already 20% damage for my, my melee, just from that. And then we got the Castrol arm sheath, increases weapon damage even more, increases more shield, more melee damage. That's 30 melee damage. And then we got the Castrol power pack with uh, more shields, heavy weapon ammo capacity. Damn. That is nice. Although I'm not really a fan of the helmet. I don't really like the helmet. I really don't like the helmet though. But it gives me 5% extra headshot damage and 3% weapon damage and 3 shields. While the other one, the recon helmet, only gives me 5% weapon damage. You can still use the recon hood. Yeah, but, but I, I lose like some headshot damage. Which is... Not that great, especially on Insanity, where I can use every freaking advantage. So... What do you think? Should I play like this, or take the Kestrel Hood with me? I also have other things, like the Capacitor, that kind of looks cool. And the Archon Visor. But, uh, yeah, the Recon Hood like remains the best one, visually, that is. And the Umbra Visor. I got the Sentry Interface. The regular visor, basically, the breather, and then no helmet. You can min-max if you want. <clears throat> yeah, but the thing is, if you want to min-max, it's just Kestrel armor. <laughs> just all Kestrel armor. That's about it. Apply. Um, maybe in the options menu, there is a way... No, 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 not the keybinds, not the keybinds. There is a way, hopefully... To turn off helmets? No? No? Um. No, there isn't. That kind of sucks. Or maybe it's in uh, the squad interface. Uh, pur purchase rank? Oh yeah, I have three. Yeah, that's why. Uh, there's there's no way to like do it here either. That kind of sucks. Ah. The thing is, I'm a fashion over function kind of guy. So let's let's keep the recon hood. Fashion over function. Would be nice to take off the helmet in oxygenated oxygenated uh, areas. 
Yeah. <clears throat> the thing is that there is a thing for that, an option for that, but I think it's in Mass Effect 3, where you can choose if you want to have it on during cutscenes or not. Um... <laughs> Let's, let's take Miranda with us. She has warp. Might be handy. Alright, she has six here. Oh, she has overload, overload and warp. Ah. That makes her pretty useful, actually. There we go. Miranda has a locust. Yep. That looks about right. Alright, <clears throat> let's go. With the um, <clears throat> semi best armor in the game. Luck on the stock market, dead piling up. Perhaps you need to explore other options. Pardon me, I'm on a call. Now, mm oh, 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 oh. I'm a free man again. Talk to indenture tech to see if indentured servitude is the right career option for you. Right. So, where are we gonna go first? We have two options. We either go for the Assassin, or we go for the Justicar. The Justicar is basically an Asari... An, like an, an, an Asari elite police thing that, like the name says, seeks justice in the galaxy. So, it's, it's basically Liara 2.0, if you think about it. But she's, she's also really old. And she is romanceable, but you don't really have snoo snoo with her because of, you know, her ethical code thing going on. The assassin, however, is a drell. It's a new race that we haven't seen yet. And, uh, well, it, as the name implies, he's an assassin. And he kind of looks like a frog, if you ask me. With the, the big eyes and, you know, the green skin. He's kind of cool looking. Um, so, the Frogman, you wanna go doing fro the Frogman, alright, cool. Uh, Thane Krios is a drill trained from childhood as an elite assassin, proficient in both long-range sniping and close infiltration. He has slowed his activities in recent years, but is rumored to have a target on Ilium. Talk to Serena. Who is Serena? Are you Serena? You're no, you're the concierge. You're not Serena. Let's go uh, find Serena. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. There we go. You talked to Liara? Yes, uh, we did. She was over there. Um. It doesn't look like she remembers romancing us, so I think we're good with the, the save editing. Because I don't understand it. I didn't romance Liara in Mass Effect 1, and yet it's it flagged it as romanced. So I was like, wait a minute. Alright, cool. <clears throat> oh, hello. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The Sana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Mm-hmm, okay. Oh, that's Serena, okay. So we found her. But uh, let's, let's continue exploring a little bit. I want to know what else I'm going to find here. <clears throat> Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. <gasps> Hack. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. There we go. Oh shit, what? What? No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend sign the contract. Alright. That was something for Liara, I'm guessing. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Alright, cool. 
Uh, start chart the Hades Nexus. Let's buy that. Minos Wasteland. So that we have more stuff to explore. There we go. Look who we have here. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? Oh shit, okay. Uh, so Officer Dara is the person we need to talk to about Samara. She's the Justicar. So what if she did? I have no idea. <clears throat> Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just All be right. polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Okay. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big that diplomatic is true. incident just waiting to happen. That is true. We have a lot of religions. Tell me about the Justicars. <clears throat> They're a monastic <clears throat> order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. All right. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. Okay, uh, but we're still gonna go for uh, the assassin. But look who he's, who's here! It's Shiala! From Mass Effect 1! Shepard. She's green. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. You're green. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. 
I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Uh, is she gonna give me like a discount if I talk to her? I already bought everything. This is the same as last time. This is the second time it's gonna happen. Ah. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> humans it's all of you the salarians and turians are no better the galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck why are you so prejudiced against aliens <sighs> where do i begin with salarian explorers unleashing the rachni upon us then unleashing the krogan to correct their mistake or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away. Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge. Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. That's not my fault. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. Again, not my... <laughs> that, that was me. In hypotheticals, you know. <sighs> the aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. First of all, your first... Wait, wait, the first one was the mother of her children? Died during the Geth Uprising. That was like 300 years ago. Humanity wasn't even spacefaring. Secondly, your daughters died because of the Geth. Not because of humans or Turians or, or whatever. <sighs> your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters worked with aliens every day at the embassy and the consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Oh. I'm... Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did I buy stuff? Nope. Nah. Inform Shiala. <coughs> yeah, you did it. I just got the revised contracts. That Thank was quick. You, that was quick. Shepherd. Damn. You've saved Zeus hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and... You're not doing whatever you do.
But you're green. You're green. You're not blue. You're green. You're green. No, 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 no. You know, Irinya won't even talk to the non Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I Just nah. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Mm-hmm. Extra merchandise, eh? Let's remember that when we go for uh, Samara. Oh, there's another secure station over here. Let's hack that. In the name of Liara. Sure uh, it's over there. All blue rows of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot hmm? soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. The hell? All right. Uh -huh. What do you want? Sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan's reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> so why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. <clears throat> serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Not Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, I what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said he that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Ooh. Thanks for the help. Spending spree. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. Reject paddlefish. All right. Buy it. A scale model of the Alliance cruiser. Buy it. Ath Athabasca? Ath Athabasca? Athabasca? Uh, some kind of class freighter. Let's buy it. There we go. We got everything. All right, cool. What about you? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Ooh. Do, 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 just, do, 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 no, no, that's cap console. Oh crap. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, is this it? Shepard, this is Liara. I've there we the go. Data. Come see me when you 
For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12 page contract. Eclipse might be fun. All right, there we go. The Heavy skin My weave and more. Health? Ooh, but I'm losing a lot of credits here. Amplifier plates, increased power damage. So that's like 2,000. That's 60,000. I need like 150,000 credits just to get skin weave and assault rifle damage. Wow. 100 and 210,000 credits just to get that. 212,000 credits. Woo! Hard to pronounce class freighter. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's let's go back and get some more some more credits. Just a contract and a waiver. These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. All right, let's go get our our assassin. Maybe he can kill a few people and we can steal their stuff. All right, guys. Before we go in here, before we go in here, I would just like to say. Uh, the next mission that we're about to do, which is the assassin mission. This is the mission that when I played it for the first time, it gave me the idea for a Mass Effect MMO. You'll you'll see why. Serena? Who wants to know? Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Liara Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Talk fast. I just need to talk to him. Dangerous man to chat with. Your call, though. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower One. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. The person in red light that only gave you like 500 credits? Red light? No, 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 no. Nasana Dantius was in Mass Effect 1. Uh, we killed her sister, then went back to the Citadel to confront her with it, and she kind of like waved it off. Now, we go and kill her. Yes. No loose end. We're going little finger on everybody. Little finger from uh, Game of Thrones. We're going little finger on everybody. Everybody dies. No loose ends. It doesn't sound like Nasana is just gonna let me. No in. loose ends. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted hmm. to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help. No strings attached. You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. All right, let's go. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower Two. Did she just call me crap? But yeah, guys, this is the part. This is the mission. When I played this for the first time, I was like, "Wow, this would have been a lot cooler if I was able to do this mission with my friends." Because this mission 
is really good. Um, huh. I want to take Jack with me because Jack has pull, which can take me out of sticky situations. If somebody tries to like rush us and he has no more shield, she can pull and he's basically out of the fight. So I'm taking Jack with me. I'm taking Jack a lot, am I? Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, all right. What do you got? You got a plasma shotgun? That's good. Let's go. The towers are heavily guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? Nope. I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint the Santa. There's no automated defenses or traps. Just focus on anything moving. Flying cars? Yeah, we are in the future. All right, let's do this. Hold on. The future with aliens. Nice, blue-skinned, sexy aliens. Mm. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. All right. Good luck, Shepard. I don't need luck. I got ammo. Oof. Poor Solarians. Um Quick scoped. Why can't I do anything? Huh? Okay, apparently I cannot use this, this as cover for some reason. Ah, oh, the poor guys. This is still under construction even. What do we got over here? Hack the terminal. Yep. Thank you. Help. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who attacked you? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mercs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. He doesn't know where the assassin is. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. Hey, Ronnie B. How you doing? I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. This is... Ickle... 
came in and <laughs> any idea how many mercs Nissan's got a lot dozens of them are wandering around here all day good Find good more the further up you go yeah we couldn't just let him die I mean he, he was just an innocent bystander I'm doing great man you're playing uh the legendary edition as well why would Nissana kill her own workers sir we're expendable but I didn't realize she was that ruthless my friends co-workers slaughtered they were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs Oof. Headshot. I'll do what I can thank you let's get moving oh yeah that's for uh when I play like multiplayer games and I get a headshot kill someone with it people can be like headshot oh hey what's going on here Oh god, he died. Dominating. <laughs> it looks like he got a dirty ass headshot. Impressive. Impressive. Do I have? No, I have nothing. Oh crap. <laughs> Sinks. <laughs> All right, then um, let's go take this. Oh, there's a freaking dog coming in. All right, we did it. Dominating. And nowhere do I find heat sinks, bro. Oh god. Ow. 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 What? Hey, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah, 
I have nothing. Oh crap, really? All right, let's go. Why do I have like no freaking heat sinks here, man? What's going on? Damn it. No, you did it. Your AI teammate did absolutely nothing. Yeah, pretty much. All right. You got to do it. All right. It's time for the big guns. You guys like a singularity? Let's go. Let uh, my anger get the best of me. Okay, what's over here? All right. Is there's nothing back there? There's not. There's not a door I can open over there. Oh no, it's just a regular door. All right. Let's keep going. Hey, Met hey, kit. Hey, Another hey, med hey. kit. Welcome. Still zero. <laughs> You go. Get your ass in there, and the fan is not paying you to stand around. I like your ah, treasure. Ah! Need a contact. Boom, boosh, baby. Taking heavy fire. We're on guns. Uh, no, don't go over it. What are you doing, Shepard? You're derping. Target. Oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez. Frickin' finally. All right, what do we got? Oh, God, there's more people. No, no, it's make me dab do nothing on screen. Oh, yes, it does. There we go. That was me dabbing. Oh, darn. <laughs> Missed him. Don't take that, don't take that, don't take that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Alright. 
<laughs> rip your money nah bro it's good it's good it's all good you're good and push That was it? Alright, cool. Oh, no, that was not it. Gotta start shooting again. Alright. Thanks for taking my spot. Thank you. Alright, so we can go through there, but let's uh, look around some. Maybe we can get some cool stuff. Come on, come on. Can I please? Thank you. Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? No. I'm looking for someone and you're not him. But is it safe to come out? Seen anyone suspicious who isn't a merc? Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. The sun is not exactly your favorite person. She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I have no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I should go. I stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody. Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. The Viper sniper rifle? I'll take it. Ah, uh, yes. But with the Viper Sniper Rifle, we are going to be using our Cryo Ammo. Look at that. What a beauty. New Sniper. Indeed. The Viper Sniper Rifle. 
All right, we got our uh, OP combo. The sniper, Viper sniper, sorry. With uh, the cryo ammo. Just freeze everybody in the room. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. I was just thinking the same thing myself. What type of sniper rifle is it? Well, there's no lack of cover. It's, um, well, it's got 12 <laughs> in the ammo, so it's, uh, it's a semi-automatic. Oh, look at this. All right, so we're gonna do that, and ooh, all right. You know what? Let's use a flashbang. Did I use it? No. Yeet. And she's frozen. <laughs> frozen, bitch. What you gonna do now? And frozen. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I only got one thing from that? Ah, oh, shit. That's not a lot. Man, this this game just does not want to give me any heat sinks. I haven't heard from teams four or five. It's probably because of insanity. Yeah. Last ammo. Shame. Don't worry about it. We can change that though. So it's, it's all in the, the files. We can change the amount of ammo to unlimited even, if you want. Turn around very slowly. Damn it. Tell me where the assassin is and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You got two ways down, express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. Bye! How about goodbye? Harsh. He had it coming. Hey, he wasn't answering my questions. If you don't answer my questions, you're going down. A data disk holds a lot of a list of genetic information for the Corosa family. All right, deliver the data. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got here. Nothing. Oh God. We've got reports of him on multiple levels. Oh god. Alright, let's uh let's get a little bit closer. Oh she has a barrier. Alright, let's uh use our thing here. Did not hit her at all. <laughs> so easy. Uh oh, again. There we go. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, wait, hey. Who's shooting from there? Again, no heat sinks, man. Insane. I need the heat sinks. I need to be able to snipe. Where are they shooting from? Oh, there he is. There we go. Whew. I saw one on the ground. Who? What? Where? Ah, 
Oh, there it is. There it is. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will take that. 25 bullets. That's enough. Bypass the door. There we go. It's kind of hard to explain its location. That's okay. Are you guys we got all it. right in here? Get back! Get oh, back. Whoa, whoa. I'll shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the Mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I, uh, don't feel so... Ooh. Tell him! He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? It wasn't me. What happened here? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, with no collateral damage. Very impressive. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the Mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse on the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still Mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I'll take this. It's about time. What's going on down there? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. Oops. No, no. Damn it. Stop it. There. And this can go there. Ugh. Yeah, this is making insanity trivial again. <laughs> nice OP weapons, bro. Let's go. Do you want to change weapons? No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Forget the explosives. He's already passed them. Look out! They're behind us. Uh-oh. He's a little bit close. He's still alive? Oh, okay. 
I'll tear you apart! Damn. Don't stand in front of me then, Jack. Jack? I right, check your fire. Why do you st keep standing in front of me? All right, let's go. Ooh, submachine gun. That that is that is not a submachine gun. That is just a regular pistol. Oh, it's this. I'll take it. All right, that for the big guns. Bloop and bloop. That'll do it. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Damn. 
Mist. Moving to cover. Right. Going to ground. Coming. Get those off. Come on. Oh, get, get over it. Focus fire on my target. All right, I think this is it. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. <laughs> now you're here to kill me. Maybe I just missed you. Screw you, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? I wouldn't waste time hunting you down, Nasana. What do you call this? You've practically destroyed my towers. I wasn't looking for you. What the hell are you talking about? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. One billion credits. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm uh -oh. finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Whew. Later. Uh, uh, uh. Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Nasana and her men deserve what they got. Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Bastard. You used me so you could kill her. I needed a diversion. You needed to speak with me. You certainly fulfilled your end of the bargain. What would you like to discuss? Killing bad guys. There's a race out there called the Collectors. They've been abducting humans. I'm gonna teach them why that's a bad idea. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They tell me it's a suicide mission. I intend to prove them wrong. A suicide mission? <laughs> yes, a suicide mission will do nicely. I'm 
dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. Not to look a gift assassin in the mouth, but why are human colonists a concern to you? They are innocent, yes? Like all victims of the Collectors. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Ah, we got a squad mate gratis. Thank you. Uh, recruited Thane Koreas for the team, but medically questionable unless mission is resolved quickly. Legal representatives dealing with public damage to Dantius Towers. All right. The Viper Sniper Rifle. Uh, the submachine gun damage, credits, and some element ESO. Thank you. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Enough. Keep it civil, people. We've all got the same goal. Maintain the objective. Aye, aye, ma'am. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. All right, so we got the, the mission from Jacob, his loyalty mission. I think we already got the loyalty mission from Morden as well. Let's go check out our upgrades. Let's get it. SMG extra rounds. That is interesting. Ooh, it's going to take all of our iridium. It's going to take a lot of element zero. Let's take it, though. Having more biotic things can be good. Advanced training and retrain powers. Don't really need any of that. But let's go get some more SMG rounds. Boom. All right. Guess I'm gonna have to uh, go and probe some some planets, but I'll do that after the live stream. I don't want to bore you guys with that. It's 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 really tedious. It's just scanning planets and getting stuff it's it's annoying i've got an appointment with shaira in three months i can't wait we're flying into the eye of the storm and you're thinking about some asari prostitute hey watch it it's not like that at all she's so she's you won't understand unless you meet her Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right. Go get that thumb checked out, though. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. You'll have to keep an eye on that one. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Goodbye. That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Rip Joker has poor bones. I know, right? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. It's not. It's not good. It's not fun living with Frolic's disease. Uh, unread messages. Appreciate the help, Elizabeth Bainham. 
I heard about what you did on Ilium, and I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus Hope one more time. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth. True. Sincerely, Elizabeth Bainham. All right. Let's see. Crew quarters. Thane Krios is there, along with uh, Garrus Vakarian. Maybe we'll finally get their frickin' loyalty mission. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Or maybe he's in some calibrations again. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? No. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Well... I think our weapons are pretty fucked up if they all need calibrations. Like, all the damn time. Calibrations. Oh, but that's not all. At some point, while you're romancing Garrus, right? Morden says something as well. And it's become a meme on the internet. At some point, he says, chafing. And he says it in such a way that it's it's like he enjoys it. Shepard, I need something to talk to you. I don't know. I'm listening. What's the issue? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. You're paying for that. See, why do that? What's wrong? Pure Krogan probably starts more aggressive than most. I'm not seeing this as a particularly big shift. Doesn't matter if it's normal. I'm not. I'm not used to this, this noise. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch. And even you are just noise. I'm tank born. What is this? Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chunka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Speak to clan leader. All right. All right, they're not talkative. And we still have the loyalty mission from Jack that we need to go to. All right, let's go and collect Samara. And after we've done that, um, let's do some loyalty missions. Because, uh, I'm kind of lacking behind on that one. Oh, and Hat Miranda as well. Give Liara the intel? Oh my god, there's a lot to do on Ilium. BRB for food. Alright, cool. And what does he have? Concussive shot, incendiary ammo. Let's take Thane with us. Let's see what he has. Alright. He has throw and warp. That's not too bad, actually. Let's, let's take both of these. And um, there we go. It's more into warp. And now we got this. We can take operative. And your focus in sniper zoom is enhanced, and you receive a damage bonus to all weapons and powers. Or, your endurance and mental fortitude reduces the recharge time of your powers and give a bonus to their duration. Your Paragon and Renegade score reach their highest level. Let's go for Assassin, though. So that would do more damage. Thane, you know you can have you can have the Mantis and the Locust. Garrus, you can have the Madtok and the Mantis. There we go. Let's go to Liara.
Give her the intel. Get Samara afterwards. I spent the last two years here. I had a purpose, a goal. Now that I've accomplished it, something occurs to me. In all that time, I never looked at the horizon. It is spectacular. All right. So, uh, like I said, first Liara, then Samara, and then help out Miranda. You seem touchy. It's not biotic neural itching, is it? I've tried everything. Don't let it. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here. It's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. I. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Ha! I know it! Information cache! I know it! I've said it during Division 2 all the time that it's a cache and people were constantly correcting me that it's caches. Or, or cache, but it's a cache! I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Back with pizza. Oh, man. Now I want pizza. Oh, hi, Liara. Yes, yeah, Liara. Um, are you on his side? Wait a minute. Are you working for the Shadow Broker? No. Actually, I'm planning to kill him. We crossed mm. paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. I've never seen you ready to oh, execute. I was seen this. And I Sorry, need to uh, make the I thought Broker it was something new. What he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker. What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. You didn't have to stand up for that, but okay. You spent two years of your life hunting the Shadow Broker? Lyra, that's insane. You don't know what he did. And again, she stands you up. You couldn't. You were gone. And we all did what we had to do after that. Let's not argue. I don't have enough friends left to lose one. Did you need help finding anything? Um, nah, we're good. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right, um, this way, right? Shipping, yeah. That's where we need to go. Hello, Solarian. I got something for you. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. This might be worth putting your family on hold. Here's that data you were worried about. Is that the Carosa Generational Archive? Oh, I am so sorry for being rude. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Carosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, maybe even destroyed it. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Thank you. For those of you who, who don't understand what he's talking about, uh, the Solarians have what they call reproductive cycles. So they don't 
they don't have you know sex like we do they they kind of negotiate and bargain for females because the female solarians are actually very very rare uh they hardly even leave their home world of Sirkesh uh because they're so rare and they are basically just bargained off for and you know the best family the one with the best genetic code gets you know the best females so that you know they get smarter and stuff evolution it's basically evolution don't question it it's evolution well, for them, it's evolution. Are you a Quarian or Volus who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination against exo suit wearing employees? I don't know. That still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Right. You're sure, Gateway Weapon? The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole shell. place is monitored. Alright. How much do we have? We do not have enough to buy everything. Damn. Alright, let's go get Samara first then. Mate, what what's she doing again? Telling you, relax. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Alright. Let's go talk to her. Hail a cab. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. There we go. Uh, let's keep Garrus, because he has Overload, and uh, Thane, because he has Warp and Throw, which is basically just as good as Pull. Um, yeah. Although... Hmm. Yeah, we're good. We're good. That's, that's okay. We're good. Or we should be good, at least. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Pitney Four. What are you in for? What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. So, so basically, they're like Danny DeVito. You know, yeah, you guys know the Danny DeVito meme, where he's like, "Okay, anyway, I stopped blasting." Tell me how to find the Justicar. No, nah. she's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse mercs. Hmm. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places, with my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. 
Dacny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Oh, hello. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse Sisters run this area. The Eclipse Sisters? Alright. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. And we can change weapons there if you want. Get some metagel. <clears throat> nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I don't need your permission. I need to find Samara and get back to my mission, with or without your help. Sounds important. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? That's about twice a day. Our mission is more important than all of our lives. And now your superiors are just being foolish. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. Hi. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene? A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... Humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. I have to go. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. All right. I don't trust that Volus. There's something about him. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Upload message. Wait for results. Oh God, what's going on? 
No one there. Oh, um, cryo ammo. Salvage. Three thousand credits. I'll take it. You can warp. Let's do it. They're off my screen. He's shooting through the wall. That's cheating. I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. the name of the ship she left on. Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? That Merc was wounded and helpless. Do you just kill anyone who won't help you? If my cause is important enough, yes. Are you different? I've killed enemies, but always with good reason. I answer to a code that is clearly defined. If my actions are true to that code, I am just. If they are not, I am unjust. I don't pretend it is a simple matter, or that it seems right to everyone. But I sleep well at night, and that is more than most can say. How may I be of service to you? I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse Sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The Detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. All right, let's make a deal. I'll get the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel Asari space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation. 
but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. A slim chance is better than no chance. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. All right, where's Pitney Four? Ah, there he is. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You said you didn't know anything about all this. You got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear, please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. <laughs> it also is toxic. I remember this mission. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. Uh, there's there's a, a Volus like him on the mission who thinks that he's a god. <laughs> it's really funny It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you True and true But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making You want something The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, <laughs> but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. All right, all right, all right. Oh, no Mass Effect 1 elevator banter? Oh. That sucks. They've seen us. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa, hey! Oh, toxicity level. Whoa! That the chemical compound will boost biotics. However, concentrated exposure will cause severe tissue damage. I recommend limited exposure. Oh, you said you tell me. Oh, no, 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 no. Miss. Yeah, all right, let's go. You're toast. Hostiles up ahead. Mind over matter. Taking heavy fire. Deploying war field. Weakening their integrity. 
Boom, bitch. Dominated. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Whacked. Indeed. Ooh. A shotgun. Don't try anything funny. Wait, stop! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnor the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that, bitch! Oof, oof. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, that, that was not uh, the best idea there. This looks interesting. Wow. She got gutted. Because she got frozen, there's a delayed response on, on her dying. Funny. Ah, no, it's this one. Let's do this too. Impressive. Easy shot. 
shop. Oh, hey. Get over it. They've seen us. Oh, God. Oh, hey, oh. What is that? Oh, God, a gunship. Really? Really? They got a gunship? Yeah, this is not gonna work. Um. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Refined Pilati uh, pl plutonium. Pl pl platinum! Refine platinum. That's not gonna help us against the gunship. We're we're done. We're done. We're it's it's over. Oh god. No heat sinks. Damn it. No heat sinks. Darn. All right. Boom, boom. And I'm gonna go silent. You're dead. Hello. Bye. Oh god. challenge out of this just melee only power cells ah oh, finally there we go we got a sniper rifle again well it's official little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged eclipse merc I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous bolus all right so the bolus exploding rounds blew the little bastard suit wide open <clears throat> Well, not anymore. You're dead. Elnora was the killer. You were right to be suspicious of her. Detective and I would be interested in this. Sensors activated. Ah, oh, come on.
It's giving me power cells. I think this is gonna be a boss battle. time let's do this yep i thought so Gunship above. boom Hit him. Come on. Come on. You had a little fireball that could. You missed him. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no. Fireball, do it. Redeem yourself. You missed. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> That's so much fun. Let's uh, go back a little bit. Check if uh, we have some uh, some heat sinks over here. We got one. All right, that'll do. That'll have to do. Oh, there's one over here as well. Thank you. Uh, no. Just punch it. There we go. Never know what's inside these things. This looks like a shipping manifest. Shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of Red Sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Bolas is a criminal. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. We gotta keep moving. Ah, here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> I am a biotic god. I think things <laughs> and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You're high. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... <laughs> a great wind. A great biotic wind. Yes, 
The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. <laughs> they may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! <laughs> Thane is like, huh? Are you part of Pitney Force Trade Group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. I get the distinct impression Pitney prefers money to friends. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a ragdoll. <laughs> Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. We're right behind you. Charge. <laughs> An ill wind blows upon Wasaya, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me. He's so stoned. <laughs> Jeez. More blood on my hands. Here we go, here we go. Boss battle. <laughs> He's a god. <laughs> yeah, here we go, here we go. Bloop. He's like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> Boil. <Boing. laughs> oh my god. Oh, so good seeing that scene again. It's so funny. <laughs> Man, that no joke. <laughs> oh. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that <laughs> filthy creature off world. <laughs> First, a Justicar shows up. Now you. Oh man. <clears throat> At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Oh shit. We've been spotted. Uh, boop, boop. And. Ah, shit. There we go. It's done. She's dead. Boss it's battle. Record of that shit must be around here. It's already over. That that's how OP this combo is, man. It's insane. Viper with cryo rounds. Uh, the AML Demeter. All right. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Let's go. Let's give her the name and keep moving. Oh man. Whew. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity. When you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? 
I think I'll hold on to it. You never know <clears throat> when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. Yeah, but if I give it to you, then Samara's gonna kill me, because that's just unjust. So, yeah. I've got the name of the ship. <clears throat> the fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions, but I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. Ah, so we can be unjust and you're not going to do anything about it? Alright, cool. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything <clears throat> extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. <laughs> All right. Now you have to do whatever I tell you. I am sworn to you. Do not make more of it than that. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Throw. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that <clears throat> Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Two. All right, so recruited Samara for the team. That's it. There's, there's nothing more. Scimitar, assault, shotgun, biotic damage, and some platinum, and a level up, of course. <clears throat> this time, not Welcome a dangerous alien. Normandy, Samara, I've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. With what we're planning, we need all the experienced people we can get. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. <clears throat> All right. So what do we got now? We got uh, Jacob's mission. We got Morden's mission already. 
so let's go talk to Kelly Chambers after upgrading a few things. Can we upgrade a few things? We can. Upgrade biotic damage. Biotic cooldown. Whoops. Prototypes? Oh, okay. No, never mind. Sweet. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. Anyway, how may I help? That'll be all. Yes, Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Glad you're okay from Kate Bowman. Who was Kate Bowman? <clears throat> Last year we added a memorial for you too. Guess that was premature. Thanks, Kate Bowman. I have no clue who she is anymore. Martin Burns. Ah, yes, that was the uh, the guy that was being held at gunpoint by the biotics, and uh, he swore to like take a look at the people who got afflicted by the L2 implants. So he's now saying, uh, "Well, basically, good luck." Changed my life, J Jert. J Jert. The Artisonian gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Dantius Towers. Ah, okay. So basically, a thank you from the person that we uh, saved during uh, the assassin's mission. All right. <clears throat> Let's go see what uh, Joker has to say now about having an Asari on board. Another Asari. Last time it was Liara. Let's see what he has to say. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? You get everyone at the same store or something? Yep. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Now he fractured both his thumbs on the mute. I wonder when we're gonna get Garrus's uh, loyalty mission, though. We might have to do some loyalty missions uh, before we go and grab anybody else. Because I think the, the missions that we're getting are tied to the amount of people that we have. So, let's go do some loyalty missions now. So the collectors did take New Canton? Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is, but I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. Ooh, swanky. What's this area of the ship? The She's basically a Jedi Shepherd. from Mass Effect. Your impressions of Miranda and Jacob. <clears throat> Jacob is an earnest <clears throat> young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Yes. Show me what it would take. Ah, here we go. 50% more fuel capacity. Let's do it. Thank you. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Ah, yeah, good point. I'd like to hear <clears> more <throat> about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. What do you think of Cerberus? 
I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Sweet. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Shepard, I'm glad you came Ah, by. finally. I got something. <clears throat> I may need your help. You remember Sedonis, <clears throat> the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with the false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Normally in engineering... Wait, isn't Thane here? Oh, no, he's... He's here, the crew quarters. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> crew quarters, life support. This is where Thane is. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Yes. Let's see what they've got. Modular probe bay. Gains 100% probe capacity. Um... Let me know if you want to pursue that. You mind if I Not ask at all. The Drell live on the <clears throat> Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. Okay. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emon Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, 
It will be lost. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keppel Syndrome. Are you gonna be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Then don't live on Kaje, or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust okay. me, this won't affect my performance. All right, so we basically need to do the mission between now and eight to twelve months. So we got Jack's mission, Grunt's mission. There's no real need to go down there because uh, Donnelly and whatever her name is, Daniels, Gabriella, they don't really talk anymore. Maybe they do now since I got the sorry. No, they're, they're quiet. All right. <clears throat> All right. Time for the next mission, which is helping Miranda. Oh, and uh, also uh, more fuel. Oh, we should have enough to buy everything now an Ilium. Give Liara intel. I thought we did that. Um, Samara, what do you got actually? You got throw and pull and reeve. Okay, let's take you and you. Turian rebel. Increases Garrus's weapon damage, increases Garrus's health. Let's go for the weapon damage. The more damage we do, the better. Right? Let's do it. And Samara... Sapiens? Just a car? Samara's biotic abilities now rival those in a Vasari matriarch. I thought she was a matriarch. Further reducing the recharge time of her powers. Okay. Samara's time is spent honing her lethal skills, increasing her weapon damage. Let's do that. And then also Reeve. What does Reeve do? Biotically attacks the target's nervous system or synthetic system and disables any health regeneration. Ooh, good against Krogans. Uh, when used against organics, the field regenerates the biotic's health and provides a temporary health boost. Reeve also does double damage to armor and barriers. Damn! That is good. Damn, that's good. Let's keep it. Uh, let's give her the Mad Talk and the Locust. There we go. My sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Hmm? Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? Uh, yes, I it did. It looks suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who was cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is and how willing she is to correct a mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls 
<laughs> Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day. Wow, cool. What a good Krogan. All right, um... Oh, uh, right. So, since we're going to Samara's, uh, mission... Wait, Krogan Sushi? Oh, okay. Um... Where is... Here we go. Speak with Lantea. In the Eternity Lounge. Ah, alright. But if we go to Eternity Lounge, I do want to have Tali with me. So, um... What a nice Krogan, I know, right? So let's return to the to the Normandy. Let's let's do someone else's uh, loyalty mission. I should have gone the other way around, just counterclockwise around the galaxy. All right, let's go. Safe crashing ship? What? Alright, help Jack in the Nubian Expanse. Dr. Kenson, help Grunt and help Morden. They're both in a DZ. Help Garrus on the Citadel. Alright, um... Let's go help Jacob. And then from there, we can go and recruit Tally. And then we're finally... Gonna have a really big squad. All right. So help Jacob is over there, but let's uh, explore a little bit. I have detected an anomaly. Ah, darn it! I keep forgetting I don't have to press the escape button. Okay, so there's an anomaly over there. Oh, it's, it says so. All right. So I can come back here whenever I want. Remember, we're gonna do the main missions first. And then do the side quests. Ah, crap. Stop pressing the escape button. Alright. Let's help Jacob. Oh, God. My iridium really low all right Jacob I have detected an anomaly land all right so we're going with Jacob he's a biotic uh, can we cycle no up ah. Damn it. Let's see what he has, though. He has pull and incendiary ammo. Let's, uh... Take Garrus with us. <laughs> He's, like, the only one who has overload. Um... I want to put more into cryo ammo. So, let's do that. Cryo ammo is uh, pretty good. Since I'm using it a lot more now. Let's put this Cerberus operative. Increases Jacob's health. Or increases... His weapon damage. Let's do that. Cerber specialist. And... Well, seven seconds is already long enough. So we're going to put one into incendiary ammo. So that can do a little bit more damage. And you... You get... A Geth Plasma Shotgun. Because that's the best shotgun in the game. Life signs, eh? All right. 
There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with this anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it stops. Hmm. Well, somebody got, uh, somebody got raped, I think. What? <clears throat> what was her name? Sarah? S Suzanne? My god, I can't remember, I can't remember her face. We need to get out, so I can remember, C can think straight. They have to hurry. Crap, wrong one. No. This one. After a crash, you can't expect the luxury of due, due, due process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Ca Ca Captain Fairchild knew this crew, crew, crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him, but I don't know. Why is the water in Mass Effect 1 better than the water here? What the hell? Bioware did not do a good job of, like, the making everything good, you know? Of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Beacon resumed. Pause time, 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours. Damn. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Why are you comparing the crash to theoretical speeds? The Hugo Gernsback was constructed off-world. It is not rated for suborbital descent, and doing so exceeded operational parameters. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. 
following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in Beacon Protocol is recorded as... Record deleted. Come on, let's get going. My father had a working beacon that didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe... that neural decay affected him. It must have, after so long. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Uh, the leader? Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What is your rank? Name? Number? Who are you? What was your rank on the Gurn's back? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But... Some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will... Watch out! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! Enemies... Oh. And they're all male. Hmm... Flying Hunter, I know, right? Jacob, can you can you please? Did you see him fly? They didn't have neural decay. They were insane. You kill them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. Yeah, I, I already made some sense to this. I mean, they were all male. And, and it's, it's, it's pretty obvious, Jacob. It's pretty obvious. Your, your father created a harem casted all the the males so he can have snoo snoo with all the females you'll see you'll see you think i'm crazy but you'll see you'll see it's it's all gonna be males strip for parts tech's wearing out those hunters must be laying on the pressure is that is that female i think that's female yeah, those are females. They're all fe <laughs> Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Huh. The 
are from the same group as the ones that attacked us, but these are docile. They're all female. Oh, oh, oh see? See? Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent. Possibly, but the female on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? Yep. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. Okay, so he, he didn't exile all the women, so it's it's not like I thought, and you know, he has a harem. But um, <clears throat> they're talking about the hunters. I'm sorry, ladies, but I killed all of your husbands. Yeah. Well, they shot first. Like, I mean, uh, what I did was in self-defense. Oh god, what's going on? Oh god. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, PDA. <clears throat> yeah, thanks Garrus for standing in front of me. his face but you fight his machines you might stop this this i forget how to read <clears throat> but this was the start what he promised and what they did to us we need the sky take us back to the sky think on your own time what's in there it's a crew log book some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long they were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After, my father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty mean. So it's, uh, it's not good. Very sus indeed. Does it say why he <clears throat> separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. 
Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Uh, oh god. I thought I had more time. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. The old corpse was posed like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Jacob, watch out. I'm gonna shoot. Oof. Yeah, we need, we need to wait here. We need to wait a bit. Excuse me. I got like one HP left. There we go. Oh, what's this? Mm-hmm. He had his fun, and now he wants out. So Yeah, he knows he's losing, so he's he's trying to be like, oh, it's not it's not what I wanted to do. I I, I activated the max, but they kind of took over. Oh god, max. Yes, yeah. Rescue you. Drawing yes, people yes. away. This thing is not my father. Oh, hey, whoa, hey.
Oh god. in the eye and hear him justify this all right time for some father-son justice but first let's look around i don't want to miss anything boss fight um no we uh we got the boss fight now it's just a uh, closure here i knew a real squad would blow through just fine sorry if the mech scuffed your pants i'll get you something nice when we get back to alliance space i've got to have some back pay coming what about your crew acting captain total loss the toxic food turned them wild they propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior waiting for a chance to signal has been hell that's the best you can do you let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as Captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob. My Jacob? Surprise! Not who you expected, Captain. I was hoping not to have to explain this to him. Or anyone, really. You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. 
And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. Can't say this wouldn't be a hell of a vacation. But you don't get to just walk away after all this time. You're damn right he doesn't. What happened here, I should vent his head. But he's not even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are. Because you're not any father I remember. I'm pretty sure we can spare the ammo. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not taking the shot. My father owned his mistakes. He was a different man. A good man. Half charged. You've seen the crazy ones. This won't stop them. It's not for them, Dad. Good decision. <clears throat> Survivors from Aya are being treated by Alliance personnel with additional server support. Pleased to see Taylor unharmed uh, psychologically by experience. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. Alright, cool. New power unlocked. A barrier creates a shield that soaks up huge amounts of damage. Nice. A new outfit for him, some heavy uh, uh, pistol f damage. There we go. Yipes! Yes, I know, right? Uh, father well, issues. Time to pick up survivors, Commander. We can be long gone by the time they get here. They get as much as a glimpse, and you're restricted to decaf. Great. May as well serve it in the airlock, you hard ass. What do you mean it wasn't you, Jacob? If I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Was it supposed to be a favor, or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Alright, Jacob should have some new dialogue for us now. Let's go check him out. <clears throat> Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks. Or Shepard. not. We'll talk later. Commander. Or not. Heavy ship armor. Damn.
All right, let's take it. Well, we can't talk to Morton. We still have his uh, loyalty mission to do. I bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with him. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, the elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Uh, really? Already? Detective Anaya. I'm not completely sure this will get you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. Ah, alright. No, no, no. No thanks, no thanks. It was all in the day's work. But uh, the elusive man wants to talk to me, so that probably means that we have another primary mission to go. Another collector thing. That, um, the stuff with Jacob's dad, it's bullshit, right? Because it looked like bullshit to me. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my foot. That's it for See now. You, Commander. Right. Um, let's go talk to Thane and Samara. <clears throat> and then go to the elusive man, see what he see what he wants to say. Uh no, it's it's this way, the elevator. Crew quarters, Samara and Thane are here. Let's go check them out. So Thane is here, Samara's over there. It's been so long that I forgot where everybody is. Do you need something? Um you mind if I ask you a not at all. Uh, Nope, another topic. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? <clears throat> Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water or fire a gun? Yes, I have. He, his name is Blasto. You should see the movies. Why did your parents agree to this? AFK for a moment. All right, I'll see you later. Compact. It was an honor for our family. The compact? We live on the Hammer homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the compact. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. The way you describe it, the Hanar sound like weaklings. Out here, they are. But if you could see them in the encompassing, the oceans of Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. Laughter like the squeals of a child vibrates the water. They fly over the black of the sea bed like birds, plumed with the light of heaven. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... 
laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Alright. What was that? Oh, wait, this is Kasumi. Um, you mean the part where he was uh, explaining his memory? Drell has something, I don't know what it's called anymore. I think it's Edetic Memory. But it's, it's beyond that. You know, like photographic memory, but it's beyond photographic memory. They have such good memory that when they think about it, they relive it. And that's what he was saying. He he's telling how he's reliving his his memory. I am glad you came. Yeah. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. What do you need? When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. Sounds like you. You're dangerous too. As are you. But she is different. Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. 
but selfish. I needed to know this a long time ago. I present no danger to anyone besides my own children. And this is not easy to speak of, even 400 years after I learned it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Grimey river. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's too harsh. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Travel to Omega, but first we got something to do with uh, the elusive man. Let's go see what he wants. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room. Wait, 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 wait. Can we use the the, the galaxy? Nah. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Pass him into the comm room. Ah, of course. Don't mind me. All right, we're at the. Uh, the message terminal, but uh, this is where we uh, where we'll have to have to end the li uh, the live stream, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, we're gonna end it on a cliffhanger again. Yes, finally, we got another cliffhanger. Uh, guys, if you're watching through uh, YouTube and you're experiencing some kind of like weird resolution 720p ish kind of thing, it's because I live stream on 720p. But the thing is, on Twitch, it is a lot sharper than it is on YouTube. YouTube has this weird processing thing that it does. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Elusive man cliffhanger. Sorry. But hey, uh, we are Thursday today, so the next live stream is gonna be. No, we're Tuesday today, sorry, so the next live stream is gonna be Thursday. You're gonna have to wait two days for the Elusive Man cliffhanger, I'm sorry for that. But still, uh, as I was saying, YouTube has a weird processing thing, so every time my Twitch live stream is exported to YouTube, the yeah, the resolution just goes bad. So if you wanna see it more crisp and clear, go to my Twitch channel, the link will be in the description below. If you are watching through uh, YouTube and you like this kind of content, or you wanna see more gaming news reviews, previews, and release roundups, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And go to my Twitch channel as well. As I said, link will be in the description below. If you're watching through Twitch and you haven't followed me yet, please hit that follow button. Really helps out a small streamer like myself. And I will see you all next time, which is going to be uh, Thursday. Same time, same place. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. And I'll catch you guys next time. Good night.